what you guys got another video here for you on how to get computer system information using PowerShell. Now, normally uh, your computer comes with built in applications that allow you to retrieve certain information about the computer that is built into Windows 10, like system info and control panel and remove programs and all those sort of uh, areas like that. But you can do this via your PowerShell. So if you can see here, system information is under sysinfo you can go here and it will give you all the information about your system it gives you your motherboard make name and stuff like that also memory and other things that are installed in your computer so how would you go about getting all of that information via powershell it's quite simple uh, and i'll show you how to do it just let me first show you how to find your windows updates because you can get all that information as well from powershell and a bunch of other stuff like smart readout for your hard drive loads of other bits and pieces so you can see here if we go into control panel and remove programs you can see uh, all the information about the windows update security updates that are installed on your computer so let's go about and show you how you can go about doing this in powershell and pull all this information uh, into powershell so here we have the command here there's a bunch of different commands inside here but they're just all linked in together just to save a bit of time but basically you can see them all listed here and uh, you can just paste these in one at a time or you can just do them all in one fell swoop, which is what we're going to do here. And we can save some information to a text in, uh, document as well in our C root directory, as you can see there. So you can also create a batch file, run this from a batch file. You can also create this as a, a standalone uh, PowerShell script and run it as a script as well. It would be different to this. But basically, if you wanted to just copy and paste all of this info, and just uh, place this into PowerShell, it would give you a load of information. Let me show you how this works. So what we're gonna do is right click on the start button and open up the Windows PowerShell as administrator here, and you should see administrator Windows PowerShell. We now need to copy in our command here. You can see there's a bunch of different uh, get commands here, and you can see it just opens this up and it will just get a load of information. So let's roll up to the top and start breaking this down and taking a look. Now you can add pauses and all that sort of stuff in here, but we'll just start off with the top part here first. So first we've got the manufacturer, which is the Asus Computer Incorporated. That is the motherboard, gives you the baseboard and the serial number, and also the product number, which is your Tough Gaming X570 Plus. This section right here is all the information about the memory, the memory type in there and which bank is populated and which one is used. And it will give you the capacity and all that sort of information there as well. Moving on down to the next section, which is your Microsoft Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. And it also tells you all of the security updates that you've got inside here when they were installed. And you can see the installation dates are all there. And there's a big list of them here and yours might uh, show more here but basically these are the ones that are on this system and it's listed them all out here security updates updates and you can see how that's listed out and which versions they are let's move on down to a little bit further here so you can see the smart readout for your hard drive this will give you all the smart information on the hard drive and tell you exactly what sort of health state the drive is in you can see the device id with flush latency max also we have uh, power on hours here. We've got read errors correct and also read errors total. A bunch of other stuff like read latency max and also some temperature and some other information here like the right error total, the right error corrected and a bunch of other good stuff which you can see here from the smart readout. We've got some other information down the bottom here. Let's move on down to this section here which is about our Windows operating system which tells us we're using Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, tells you the installation date, which we installed the operating system, tells you the service pack, which we don't use, 64-bit, and we also have where it's installed, and we also have the build number and the CS name here. We also have the user information for the user account, tells you it's administrator, and it tells you guest, and it's me, that's true, and it's an administrator there. You can see that information is all listed here. And you can add more uh, commands in here if you want to. This is just an example of exactly how you can pull information up via PowerShell. Now, this is to get all the event logs for your computer in PowerShell. This will list all these up as well. You can see there's a big, massive list of these. 
and it will tell you exactly what these event logs are. It'll tell you the uh, date, it will tell you the month, it'll also tell you the time, and it'll also tell you what the error is uh, related to, whether it be a disk or whether it be uh, some sort of service or other things like that. So you can see them all listed here. Now you can check the event logs inside Windows itself. You can also do it via PowerShell. Just wanted to show you this here. Um, so it's quite useful and it gives you a description of exactly what that error is. So quite useful for troubleshooting and getting that information up. There's also a system information here, which you can uh, make yourself by uh, putting this into the command itself. And it will automatically put in a text file into whatever location you want with some information that you ask it to save in that text document. So it will save it to there so you can have good reference of all the information that you've just collected. And you can see installed programs here. If you want to show a list of all the installed programs on the system via PowerShell, you can do that also in here. Let me just quickly show you how to do this as well. And uh, you can right click here, open up uh, Windows PowerShell as admin again, and you can quickly paste in a command here and this will tell you all the installed programs on this operating system. So this is basically how you can build up a big list of stuff that you want to save, like collect system information on that computer. And you could do this in one big script if you wanted to and save it to a file so you can look at it at a later date. You can see here we've got all the installed programs. It will identify all of the programs here by name as well. It tells you Outlook, Office, you can see a bunch of other stuff like Plex. Those are good stuff on here. And this all can be useful for troubleshooting or just getting lists of information. Now, there is other software out there that you can use to do this as well. But this is just a way that someone wanted to know how to do when they sent me an email. But basically, that's how you would do it via PowerShell. And again, there's a ton of other things that you can do via PowerShell. So if you want to see some more of this, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Other than that, that's basically how you can collect system information via PowerShell. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.